Good morning everyone. I'm Mr. Lia Tamalino and this is Mr. Glynit Dave Olis. He is going to document our conversation with my interview with Ms. Lindy Jane Olis. Good morning, Ms. Glindy Jane Olis. Yeah, good morning. Before we start, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Glindy Jane Olis. Yeah. Um, how was your day? It was good, it was fun, yeah, it's so cold, but it's good. Okay, so um, I'm going to interview you. Uh, I'm going to ask you questions about discrimination. Is it okay with you? Oh, okay. So can we start? Yes. So what do you think about discrimination? Discrimination? I think discrimination is, you know, very common in our society especially those being discriminated, you know, they're being used to it and they just live with it. Uh, okay, so in your own words, can you please define discrimination? For me, discrimination is believing yourself that you are far better than someone, that you tend to look down them, uh, criticize them, isolate, isolate them from group rather. And yeah, that's all. Oh, yeah. So, have you experienced being discriminated by someone? Yes, I've been discriminated by my mm, enemies, I think, rather. <laughs> I was, yeah. How does it feel? Uh, it doesn't feel good because you're, like, being looked down and they're saying things that aren't true. Yeah. Okay, so... Did someone discriminate you? I. Have you discriminated someone? Yes. By who? Uh, I discriminated once. I don't know him, but yeah, I discriminated him because he doesn't, I uh, know, he doesn't wear good shoes that time, so. How did you feel after doing it? I feel like, at first I feel like I'm so... You know, I'm so really that fashionable, fashionable rather. But later on, I realized that it wasn't good to discriminate others because you're like describing only yourself. So, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, is discrimination present in your community? Yes, very much. What particular way? I like those barangay officials. They more consider the the opinions of the wealthy families and their benefits yes that's it it's not true yes because i attended once a meeting then then i i know i observed that those unfortunate people doesn't i know doesn't speak their opinions uh, so it's really disappointed so is discrimination is discrimination present in your family? Uh, yes, but not that much. Uh, have your parents teach you about discrimination? No, they didn't. Uh, okay, that's good. In your school, is discrimination present? Yes, definitely. In what particular way? Like, those poor students, they have lesser friends than, yeah, rich students. How did you feel when someone is being discriminated? I feel sorry for them, especially those students or those people that I know they doesn't even deserve to be discriminated because they're good people and such. So, in your answer, do you think that discrimination has a good side? Maybe yes, maybe no, because it still depends on the person and how she or he will take the discrimination because if yes, it will boost his or her confidence to prove to others that they are wrong. But if no, that person might not be discouraged. He might commit suicide and everything. Okay. So, what what do you going? What are you going to do in order to avoid avoid being discriminated? I think I cannot avoid being discriminated because it is very true that we cannot really please everybody. Yeah. So, 
What are you going to do in order to avoid discriminating someone? I will learn to be more friendly, being humble to myself, and keep my feet on the ground. Okay, that's good. So do you think discrimi discrimination can be stopped? I think it cannot be stopped, but I think it can be lessened. Oh. In your own opinion, how can the government stop discrimination? No, by implementing laws that are both beneficiary to the wealthy people and those unfortunate. Okay, so as a person that is a part of our commu of the community, how can you contribute stopping in stopping discrimination? Uh, I should start it in myself, like learning to be more approachable to others and not looking at their bad sides. Oh, okay, that's good. So can you please give me an ob an object that symbolizes discrimination? Uh, I'll, I think it's not a thing, but I can compare it to the air we breathe because sometimes we don't see it that it's already happening to us, but really can feel it and we can, and we know rather that it's there. Okay, that's in our, that, that's in our questions. So, thank you. And I get, and I learn a lot from you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for giving your ideas. Thank you, too. Yeah. <laughs>